there guys, my name is Kesha, thanks to Bone Bot Built for Theme Park News and welcome to a Theme Park News update. This is following the construction of Jersey Devil Coaster at Six Flags Great Adventure. Now, I never thought the construction would keep going all the way through this pandemic. However, the construction is really coming along behind closed doors. Um, so we do have some construction updates on what's been happening on site uh, recently. Um, so the latest update came in yesterday. I'm going to be talking about exactly what's been going down on site, my thoughts on the construction progress, and also my thoughts on the coaster for those of you who don't know my thoughts already. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell to see this YouTube video. Please share with your friends, family, and on social media. Make sure you get your questions in for the hashtag. We're using hashtag question before or after your question for the 1,500 subscriber Q&A. And don't forget, if we get to 1,500 subs before April 7th, then the Q&A will be done live as part of the live stream to raise money for three charities to fight against the coronavirus. So all the charity links are in the description down below as well. And for now, guys, let's get into this video. So I'm going to share some pictures of Jersey Devils um, animation. For those of you who need a few shots, just to remind yourself about the coaster. But for those of you who don't know about the coaster, this is a single rail roller coaster manufactured by RMC, Rocky Mountain Construction. This is the biggest of their single rail coasters. It's not a T-Rex, but it's a Raptor. Um, but it is the world's tallest, longest, fastest single rail coaster. Uh, so, of course, this is replacing the old Looney Tunes Seaport Kids area. Um, right next to the Congo Rapids. The Congo Rapids is staying, uh, but it will provide some great views from the Congo Rapids of the Jersey Devil Coaster. Now let's have a look at the latest construction. So let's share some pictures of Jersey Devil on your screen and let's talk about the latest updates. So, Jersey Devil Coaster has been making great progress with this week. The Zero G store has been officially completed and the entrance into the turnaround with the Crow's Nest supports are in place. Now we would like to expect that the rest of this section to be completed early next week with the zero G roll and potential entrance into um, the MCBR to be completed as of next week as well. Uh, so those construction updates were from Inside Six Flags Great Adventure which is an Instagram page. You can see the photo of the zero G store being completed uh, on there. Um, but what are my thoughts on the latest construction? I think, the like I said, the construction progress has really picked up the pace here. Um, and I feel like the, the Zero G stall edition is definitely uh, a good addition to the ride. It's definitely a great element to the ride. Uh, and I like how uh, that element's been completed. And of course, we've got these updates saying, you know, that, that sort of section of the ride set to be completed early next week. Um, you know, and the entrance to the whole thing. Hopefully completed ne by next week as well. Early next week, fingers crossed. Uh, so there's still a lot of progress to come. Uh, going into next week then, like we said, those bits set to be completed early next week. But what about the end of next week? I hope to see some more bits being constructed, uh, support, more supports going up and more track going up as well. But I think with the quick progress of this construction, I think it's very helpful to have quick progress on this ride. Just for the fact that, um, you know, it's with the coronavirus and like the parks being closed, etc. It's, it's, it's. I, I feel personally, it's quick and easier to work behind closed doors. So, I think it's a really cool uh, addition to the park. I think this is going to be a great coaster at the park, um, and yeah, I think this is going to be uh, a fantastic addition to the Six Flags Great Adventure Park. Um, so. For those of you who need a little bit of stats, for those of you who have no idea about this roller coaster at all, uh, like I said before, Jersey Devil is set to open this year in 2020. It is a Rocky Mountain construction single rail roller coaster. Uh, so it is, um, like I said, it's not the T-Rex at all. It is the Raptor itself. Now the Jersey Devil coaster has a length of 3,000 feet. A height of 130 feet, a speed of 58 miles per hour, three inversions, an 87 degree vertical angle, and it contains a dive loop, a zero G store, which is all being constructed, a zero G roll, and of course the block brake system. Of course, like I said, set to open in 2020. Now there's been a lot of rumours and talks about what's going to happen in terms of opening the ride. I would like to think more if the whole coronavirus thing is done, sort of end of Easter. Um, 
I'd like to see this open for Memorial Day. Um, I'd like to see this open around July time. Uh, so I think that I think with everything going on, I think if it's not going to be done by uh, May June, I'd like to see it open by July. But I think if they have to push it back, I think it'll push it back as far as uh, late August, sort of like a late summer opening kind of thing. Uh, and I think that's the case with many coasters and all the new attractions. Uh, around the world this year um, with the coronavirus pandemic. I think that um, all those openings that were scheduled for like March, April, May will probably get pushed back to like July, you know, August, maybe even September if, you, if, if you're going back that far. Uh, so it's very interesting to uh, sort of follow the construction process, follow the process of this whole ride and um, sort of see this all being constructed and all this being built and all this being developed and we follow this construction project right from the very start when we first heard rumours that there was going to be a new coaster coming to Great Adventure in 2020 we followed the rumours, we followed uh, what could be happening we followed the teaser campaign you can go back across the, the 2019 theme park newsroom playlist you can look back through all of that and you can actually see what we've reported on and what news stories we've reported on to do with this new coaster and you can see we've followed the entire teaser campaign analyzing the teasers trying to piece together the puzzles we got the announcement video for six flags up the jersey devil announcement video my analysis on jersey devil and the rest of the six flags attractions for 2020 and that was at a time when coronavirus never even existed you know it, I, it feels weird i don't know why but it feels weird saying those times like it's a time when coronavirus never even existed um so you know it, it, we followed this process right from the very very beginning uh, so I really hope you guys go and back and watch those videos. We've got a few hundred vi uh, views on all all across those videos, uh, from a few hundred up to a couple of thousand views. So uh, make sure you get those view counts up. Uh, make sure you go keep watching the videos. And yeah, it's been a great process to watch uh, this come from the ground up, from the first developed rumours and speculations, right up until the construction process and getting very very close. To, you know, to the potential opening of this coaster and obviously with the coronavirus pandemic it stalled things in terms of opening rides and attractions but I do still feel confident that this will open for Memorial Day uh, in July uh, so I do believe that that will be the opening date in my opinion they may push it back to August but uh, I think that's just a precaution if this coronavirus goes on past if this coronavirus goes on past May time then that's when they need to start talking about uh, going for an August opening date rather than July, rather than a Memorial Day opening. Uh, so one big thing I've been a massive fan about is of course the colours of the ride. Now the train colours and the track colours with like the orange and the train with the red and yellow mixed in and a bit of black as well for the face on the front of the train and you know all that design work and everything like that that's been really good to keep an eye on as well because obviously I've shown you in a previous video the trains for the ride and I think the trains for the ride are very very specific and very very well done uh, so I do believe that uh, they are a fantastic 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 addition to the ride and it gives it a sense of character as well now uh, when we were sort of pieced together in the teaser campaign for this ride, the Jersey Devil theme really came across uh, when trying to piece it all together. And when we saw the announcement, I was confused at first. Then we pieced it all together. I was like, now it starts to make sense. Uh, and, you'll, and you'll see, it was the analysis video, I believe, that we did it. Um, where we literally got all the teasers from the campaign. We literally analysed them together. We pieced them together and we got the answers to the clues in the teasers. So... Uh, it's well worth a watch back, just to sort of watch through that process again. Uh, you know, while we're in lockdown, make sure you go and watch all the early videos on the channel. Um, I do that sometimes. I go back and watch all the early videos of like the construction processes for attractions and different things like that. You know, it, 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 it is such a cool, cool process. Uh, to watch back because you sort of think, oh, that's when that teaser was released and that's when construction started, etc., etc. So you really got to watch back throughout all those videos and you've really got to watch back throughout the construction process of that. So I really do really, really recommend that you guys go watch back throughout all those videos. Uh, so thank you very much for watching this construction process episode of Jersey Devil at Six Flags Great Adventure. Please like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you never miss another YouTube video. And for now, guys, my name is Coach Charles Kill on the Coast Life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.